Good morning, we are still in Fjordlands National Park after we got off the boat yesterday. We drove up north and today we are going to explore Milford Sound. Liz is giving morning commentary outside barefoot and I know she's gonna run here a minute and tell me how freezing cold it is. <laughs> but we don't have any internet while we're here where we're camping tonight so we can't like Google anything to do in the area. So we're up super early. We're gonna go into town and hopefully try to beat the crowds and do something fun. It's cold. <laughs> This is a real place, guys. You just look over, straight down, stream way down there. If you fell, oh man. Giant mountains, snow couch mountains, more giant mountains, more snow capped mountains, everywhere you look. Just like how we timed doing our cruise in Doubtful Sound with a day where it wasn't going to rain, it's not supposed to rain today in Milford and we can see blue skies and sun coming out, which is super exciting. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do when we get there. Maybe another cruise. Maybe we'll hit the lottery and we can go on a helicopter tour because, dude, this is insane. Dude, pull over, this is beautiful. I have lost track of the number of waterfalls we've seen because everywhere you look, water is falling off these mountains. This whole wall right here is dripping with water and, oh my gosh. That thing is huge. The water is so clear. What do you think of the waterfall? Uh, it's gorgeous. We were gonna try to make the 945 boat this morning. There's no way we're gonna make it because there's so many stops along the way that we wanna see. God, this is so scary. Oh, I've never okay. been in a tunnel this freaking dark. It's so dark. We are legit in a mountain. I see light. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my gosh. Does this sudden spit you out on a bridge after you went through all of that? What is this? Because now I'm definitely in the air. There's a little waterfall. Yeah. That was at least a few years off my at at least a few years. Wow. I mean, it's 9.05, I need a drink. <laughs> that wall of rock, that's what we drove straight through. That is so crazy. All right, today Alyssa and I are driving into Milford Sound, but along the way to Milford Sound, there are so many little pull-offs and hikes, and we can't do all of them because we're kind of realizing that we have less than a month left in our trip, and we're running out of time to do all the things that we wanna do. So we're going to pick the ones that have waterfalls. So one of them is called The Chasm, that was recommended to us a few times, and it's only like a 20 minute hike, but there's supposed to be at least a couple big waterfalls. I think the, the paper said it was like, it was like a big waterfall. What was the word they used? Dramatic views of a series of powerful waterfalls. The sheer velocity of water gives an appreciation of how much rainfall the Milford Sound area receives annually. Powerful waterfalls. Series. I just want to point out everywhere. Wow. It's all gorgeous. How much moss is there in this area? Um, Keep walking, but talk. One trillion cubic pounds. I don't know, how would I know how much mouse there is? <laughs> I just meant that it's everywhere. Oh yeah, like 100% covered. <laughs> There's been several times this morning already. Listen like... how loud that is! Whoa! Whoa! That's the chasm. There's been several times this morning already <laughs> where I get out of the RV and walk around and just have this big stupid smile on my face. It's true. Just because... <laughs> no! <laughs> 
<laughs> just because of how the sheer beauty I mean I know we've said that a million times in these videos already but it's just incredible and you can't help but just look be in awe look how crazy this all looks How's it look? It looks like something Walt Disney would sculpt with this car. I walked ahead of Heath because he has taken a bunch of photos and I hear him say, hey, it's great to see you. And I'm like, who in the world are we gonna run into on a hike in the middle of New Zealand? But it's the people that we uh, went on the overnight cruise with the other day, we ate dinner with them. Just ran into them on the hike. Small island. Small island. Okay, one hike down, saw the waterfall, heading into Milford now and we'll see. Maybe we'll do a day cruise. At this point, we might just stop and waterfall hunt all day. I want to go out on Milford Town, but I don't think I'll be heartbroken if we don't just because we is doubtful, but I'm like we're already here, I feel like we should get out on the water if we can. Same. Made it to Milford Town. Totally understand why everyone told us to cut your early. Parking lot is completely packed. Yes. Totally full so over there. We're going to see if we can snag a last minute cruise, day cruise today. Uh, we should probably go in there because if it's anything like the parking lot, they might be booked out today. Mm. We'll see what we can do. If not, the drive here was worth it. Totally. So because we stopped too many times this morning and woke up a little bit late, we did not make our first cruise of the day and quite a few of the other ones are sold out and they're just a little bit pricey. So we decided that since we already did the overnight cruise through Doubtful Sound that today we are going to go on the most recommended hike, yes. which is called Key Summit. It's a three hour return hike. And you basically are hiking all the way up an hour and a half and then you have a view of mountains all around and then I think they said you can see three different valleys like all around you. It's part of the rope burn track, so. It's, and it's a gorgeous day, so that's what we're going to Should do today. Should be clear, sunny, yeah. beautiful. Love it, all right, let's go. through the tunnel a second time. That's crazy, we're gonna wait three minutes. Now we're gonna go through this super scary tunnel. So I've driven through a lot of tunnels in my day of RVing and I have to say, none of them are quite like this. One, I can't help but think about what people had to go through to actually make this tunnel. This is a giant mountain in front of us and this goes through the heart of the mountain. And I know that's what a lot of tunnels are, they go through mountains but I've never been one, through one as dense and big of a mountain as this one. And you can just tell, like, this took a lot of power to make this tunnel. So even though it's terrifying, good job, engineers. This is a 10% grade, so we are going up right now. out of their cars waiting. Got everything? Yep, got let's, some snacks. Let's make it to the summit. The key summit. We were hopping on the rope burn track, doing the key summit alpine walk. It is worth saying because I, it, it's really hard for me to understand, but they call all the hikes walks. And then they're like, oh yeah, there's this great four day walk you can go on through the mountains. And I'm like, I can't comprehend how that is a walk. And it's very common for people to go on several day walks. Several days. And walk. they don't call them hiking trails, they're tracks. Yes. They said that this walk is pretty easy. So far, it's beautiful. There are some water crossings on this hike, but you can drink this water. Oh yeah. They oh, say it's oh, like 99.9% .9 pure. Yep. You gonna just stick your face under there? <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> you can hear rushing water. The everywhere. whole time so far, yeah. Heath Paget. Yeah. You're about to get your dream. 
Waterfall. Ah, don't don't just be walking backwards. Well, you stopped all of a sudden. Keith's dream is to be able to casually walk right up to a waterfall. Here you go. Ooh, yeah. Oh man, beautiful. I dare you to take a shower in it. I don't have to change the clothes. And it's also freezing outside. Water break. How you doing? Oh, that was like five switchbacks in a row. I need some water. But there are, there's like a ton of streams everywhere. So if we run out of water, we could just fill her up. Mm -hmm. Is it as cold as it looks? Yeah, it feels great. Refreshing? Yeah. <laughs> Your first shower since we've been in New Zealand, right? Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Whew. Shower views. If I've learned anything about myself since being here in New Zealand, it's how annoying I am because everything is the absolute best, my absolute favorite, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Super awesome. Super awesome. So beautiful. That mountain though, it looks like Everest, but in New Zealand. Yeah. It's insane. Breathtaking. Fascinating. It looks fake. Like, it's so pretty, it looks fake. You're making fun of me because I say that one a lot. Yeah. We're almost to the top now. The vegetation has cleared out a little bit. And look view we just passed the sign that said there's an hour left our return our return i think from that sign oh hi sorry it's like the most harsh time of day so showing you anything on camera right now will not do justice but pretty much snow capped summits all around 360 views no 180 we can't see that way yet we uh, 360 at the top okay status report I could see no less than a dozen snow-capped mountains. My knees are real mad at me for doing this, but totally worth it. And I'm probably gonna sit on my butt all day tomorrow. Most epic bathroom views ever. <laughs> We made it. 360 views. We got them. What do you think? I think it's beautiful and windy. Yes. And cold. We'll walk back down. Okay. We finished the hike at Key Summit. We have, we're like at the top of the mountain still. We okay, have, well we made it we to the top. We made an it to the hour top. downhill to go. We made it to the top of Key Summit. Amazing views. Definitely worth it if you're ever going to be out near Milford Highly Sound. recommend. Especially if you're like us and you miss the boat that you yeah. want to do. This is amazing panoramic views. Yeah, we got to make it to the bottom now. And let's get a snack. Yeah, lots of snacks. Actually, I have a granola. Oh. Yeah, we should get one. 